I don't know if I need to add some words to this uh, magnificent sight. The light that is shining from the hearts of the honest people is the light of hope. It is a light that cannot accept the forces of nature to hold us back from the wonders and miracles that we believe in the depth of our souls that are exist and available for all of us. People that have hope, people that have faith, finding it very hard to to give up on wonders, to give up on the miracles, on the hope that things will change. We are a nation of believers. We are holy souls of truth seekers. In the nature of our creation, we're not meant to give up. We meant to change the rules. To break all kinds of limitations to give up the forces of nature that are forcing us to doubt ourselves. Men to grow. Men to succeed. And men to reveal the true potential of our souls. Our souls are so holy, so beautiful. It's incredible to think even how great and how fantastic and innocent we are while just being who we are. Without playing and without acting, without trying people to like us, just by being ourselves, being who we are, just uncovering the real true light of our souls. I don't think in this world there is something deeper than that, deeper than this fantastic life experience of being a truth seeker not to give up on your dreams not to give up on the dreams of your beloved ones in every life situation to try to do as much as you can to benefit others to help to give life to bring life to this world souls with no doubt are very powerful and 
deserve all the good. Really deserve all the good. So for that we must continue to pray and not to give up and to keep on asking and claiming and demanding what that is ours. What that is really ours in nature, in the nature of our creation. That the good will take over the world and that the holy and the righteous ones will control the creation and will bring redemption. Spreading the light of faith, the light of Emuna. The E of Emuna. and taking us to faith to faith in the unity of our souls to faith in ourselves not to give up to the fears we're afraid of the fear itself Instead of confronting our fears and battling until we'll understand that behind all the difficulties and all the challenges and all the curtains there is only one that is standing over there calmly and quietly waiting for us to come back to him with a full heart with a happy heart with a wishing soul and that Almighty is not only above in heaven waiting for us to wake up He lives inside of us in our souls inside of our being You know what that place is? It's the JFK airport It's the airport that we landed in when we came to New York Heaven, they're opening the gates for redemption. That the wide world will know his name and will call him with no fear. No more stress, no more anxieties, no more sadness, no more depression, no more sorrow, no more pain, no more, no more headaches, no more tears, no more bloodshed. despair only hope okay so now Bezat Hashem I'm gonna open the sea for you and we'll walk together in dry land no problem so my friend are you coming yes okay we're heading in Dima He's busy. I'm opening the sea for two seconds, okay? I'm opening the sea for a second. Yeah, let's Okay, so. Oh, you don't want me to ruin the shoes? Okay. No. So I'm not gonna open the sea today. <laughs> If you're sure that you got oh, you just said that like maybe no, I need to wash over my shoes. Yeah. You're right, there are these, these nice shoes. You have nice <laughs> shoes too, you know. <laughs> okay, so Bezat Hashem will open this in a different day. Not today, but uh, like uh, at least we wanted to. For more, please visit emuna.com. May your light shine always.
and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.